Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Big Wuss Audits decides to take a plunge into the deep end when he audits an Air Force base. I mean, by this point, it's just becoming sheer madness wondering what he'll audit next. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How's it going, everyone? Big West Audit here, guys. We're back here with another uh, video. Today, we're at our first ever military base. We're at the 180th Fighter Wing uh, Air Force Base here, guys. I think it's uh, National Guard. That's how you say it on the website when you look it up. Big Wuss. It is the Air National Guard, which makes them the reservists of the Air Force. So the 180th Fighter Wing is one of the jets, I'm assuming, that they got. <laughs> oh my god, Wes, your research methodology is so outstanding. It's, it is just so damn pathetic. Wes, it is not a jet they're talking about as far as the 180th Fighter Wing goes. Let me break it down for you like this, you idiot. Essentially, a fighter wing command is one step is equivalent to an army brigade in its level and ranking within the unit makeup of that particular branch of the military, which in army terms is one step down from a division. And this fighter wing is led by a one-star general, aka a brigadier general, or a colonel. Wes, you need to do some actual research. Put in the work. Put in the rigor. I mean, come on now. There's the uh, booth to get in. Now guys, everyone leave a like right now for this video because and subscribe because I just walked two miles to get here. Oh my gosh, there's a jet. Look at that jet, guys. I walked two miles here and it's already worth it because we're seeing that jet. That is sweet, right there. I wonder if that's the 180th Spider Wing I was talking about or that's another jet, but. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Leave a like, guys, because I walked two miles here, and this is our first time ever going to a military base. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty nervous right now. Uh, I don't want to get arrested or anything. As you can see, this is a public road right here, and we're on the public uh, bike lane or walking lane. So we really shouldn't have a problem because we're not going to enter the military property. Uh, I see there's like a little black line right there. I don't know if that's the property or if it's, it's over there, but I'm just going to stay right here on the, the public walkway where we're allowed to be and uh see if we can get a jet taken off or something that'd be cool oh there's a sign right here it says warning it is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the commander can't really see the rest but uh we're not gonna go on the property so that's all right Ooh, that was a soldier, guys. He was in his uniform. This isn't the Army, Wes. In the Army, they're called soldiers. In the Air Force, they're called airmen. Now, I'm just going to skip ahead to the encounter because he's just going to say more of the same stupid garbage along the way. Five hours later. Oh, here comes the security. Or police. Hey, Wes, in the case of the Air Force, they're called security forces. How's it going? How's it going, sir? 
Uh, I'm just taking a couple pictures. Okay. Is there any reason why you have an AR? Um, Wes, you are in. You are near a military base, and they pack a whole lot more firepower than your local police officers do. When that's you approach I, me, that's what I miss you. Is there a reason why you have your hand on it? To control it. Okay. That that harness doesn't control it. It would just hang. Yeah, but uh, can I get your name and badge number? I don't have a badge number. Can I get your name, please, sir? No. No. I just want to know what you're doing. Just stand by the street. That's it. Okay. If, if filming from right here, you're fine. I got no issues with mm -hmm. that. I just. The guys at the gate reported something unusual, mm -hmm. and so I just want to come out and make sure everything is all right here. Okay, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, can I, sir, can I just please get your name one time, though, for the record? No. For what record? I would just like to know who I'm speaking with, and I'll go into death and explain myself a little better. All right. My last name's Katie. And you Master you work here? Katie. And you, yeah. are, you work for the Air Force? Yes. Okay, I just want to say I appreciate your service, sir. Thank you. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just working on a story about the, the city here. And I wanted to come take a couple pictures from anywhere that's accessible to the public. Am I allowed to stand here and record those jets back there? You can, yeah, the static displays right there. Okay, yeah, yeah and I saw that. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, I'm, I don't want to concern anybody, harass anyone, stick a camera in anyone's face. I just want to take pictures of anything that I can from the public. And I, this is for all for news purposes. I'm not a criminal, sir. I'm not, I'm not trying to break any laws or do anything wrong. No, I'm not. I, I understand your concern yeah. and coming out and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I'm not here to to disturb anybody. You know what I'm saying? Can I ask who your name is? Yep. Uh, is this for like a YouTube channel you have? I prefer not to answer any questions, really. Okay. Uh, and what are you police, uh, Air Force police, or? Yes, we okay. are the police of the Air Force. Okay. Yep. So, um, all right. Well, as long as you're you're out here, this is fine. Um, like I said, the guys in the gate. Their job is to report anything that's unusual. Okay, and you can tell them for me if you can. I, I apologize. I'm, I just tell them I work for the news. I was just taking a couple pictures. Okay. Go to the roundabout, hang a right, and All then right. there's a dump dump place down there. All right, thank you very yep. much. All right. Yeah, just stay. I'll let them know. Just be careful out here. Just okay, sir. I appreciate it. Pretty crazy. You know what? Uh, there's not really too much I can cover right here from the public, so you can just let everyone know, everyone know that I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to head out, sir. Uh, I appreciate your professionalism and being very kind and polite. Uh, thank you so much for your service for this country, and have a great rest of your day, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Holy crap, guys. That was scary. Is he allowed to put his emergency lights on like that? When it's not even an emergency? That was scary. Yeah, Wes, I bet it was. You attract the attention of the security force from that Air Force base. That was a risky deal you just performed. Oh my goodness, you are one special individual. Especially since you don't know the kind of firepower they're packing in that base that might have taken you out. Oh boy, even braver. I don't know if I should, could call you Big Wuss or Big Moron.